HCC family, welcome to another week. I've totally forgotten what week of lockdown we're in, but I do know that some of you are heading back to work this week, and um, particularly teachers, uh, and uh, some of you, are, I know some children, some of you are heading back to school as well, and just want to say we're praying for you, um, you're on our minds, and uh, praying for protection over us, and also all of you serving um, on the front line and uh, those in the NHS um, and in retail. Uh, guys, thank you for all that you're doing, all that you continue to serve. And every day you put yourself out there. Um, and do you know what? Your hands are in good with God at the moment and we pray for God's protection over you. Um, I just want to continue to say pray. Just pray. Short prayers. Um, real prayers in conversation with God. I'm reading a fantastic book at the moment called, uh, just simply called With, uh, by uh, um, by Sky Jathani, and just talking about how we can live in a relationship with God, not for God, um, under God, over God, but with him. And we've been called into partnership with him. And for me this week, that's meant so much because, uh, yeah, we just had a family moment this week that was really difficult for one of our children. And uh, Anya and I were just like, how can we connect into that situation? And we, we just felt we needed that opening and that permission to maybe have a conversation into that moment for one of our children. And we didn't know what to do. So we just prayed and we just say, God, God, can you give us an opportunity, a handle, um, to be able to have a moment to share? And we just pray together for our child. And it was amazing. Later on that day, uh, we had an opportunity um, just to talk and to share at a heart-to-heart -heart level and uh, being able to convey the things that we felt were important in that moment. And it just changed the whole thing around. So prayer really means something. And children, even if we've got feeling worried or concerned about things we can bring our prayers to God and just to remind us that uh, this week with our weekly um, family packs uh, we're doing the digital family prayer um, praying every day and you can get the, the app download with videos and just how can we keep connecting and talking with God at this time so do connect in with that I um, I have just loved this series, um, looking at the Holy Spirit. Um, I want to share with you an amazing um, fire pit moment that Ashley uh, Taylor shared with me on 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 um, on video. Um, I'm going to share it um, w along with this link um, on Facebook because it just reminds us that the Holy Spirit, uh, the empowering presence of God with us, is empowering us um, every day. Uh, with with flames of life, of empowerment, of a passion for God, keeping our fires stoked even in times of isolation. Um, and so, um, th don't do not forget what we've been learning about the Holy Spirit being your Paraclete and how we can walk with God through our lives. Um, and being responsive to Him and open to opportunities. So. With that in mind, we're also thinking that God wants to work in partnership with us. And we've had this metaphor of like the dry bones all connecting and coming together and like this mighty army arising. And this month in June, we are going to be now turning on Sundays to look at Ephesians chapter 4, verses 7 uh, to, six, to 16, where Paul talks about that each of us has been given a grace gift from Jesus for building up his church. And it's how they've been gifts given that we can express the fullness of Jesus through our church community. And I'd love to, you to join us, um, continue to join us on Sundays online, where we're going to be discovering the amazing treasure that God's put in each one of us and how we can be using those gifts to build one another up. Everybody gets to play on the pitch. Um, and so just as the premiership is kicking back in, our gifts get to activate into the work and the, the mission of God that we're part of as HCC. 
So we've all got a part to play. This week, why don't we make a phone call to someone this week? Um, let's just put a text out, a word of encouragement, um, someone for something, uh, you know, maybe send someone a gift through the post. There's so many ways that we can keep connected during this time. So it's been great to share with you today. Have a really blessed week and we shall see you on Sunday um, with our next online uh, gathering, which is going to be brought to us by Richard and Helen as an all age family cafe Sunday, um, which is going to be high octane and a really great morning together. So do not miss out. Let's be there and let's keep shining the light.